This conference will now be recorded. Uh, is it audible now? Hello? His voice is clear? Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, can anyone of you speak, please? I uh, just want to check the voice. Anyone? Yeah, voice is audible, sir. Okay. Right. <clears throat> okay, right. So we are discussing this uh, interactive reporting. Okay, interactive classical reporting. So what we have done yesterday is uh, we have generated the selection screen. Okay. Uh, I'm using a different server. Okay, I'm using a different server, so I've changed the customer range. Let's say I give the customer range as something 1000 to 1010. Okay, here I'll give a different customer range. Uh, one second. Yeah, I'll use this customer range. Okay, otherwise, uh, let me use yeah. I'll use this customer range uh, 10 to 300 something uh, what 140 10 to 130 300. Let me check whether we'll get the data or not. Okay, right. So when I execute, this is my customer range. When I execute, yeah, I got the customer data between this particular range. So what was our requirement when I double click on this, when I double click on any of the what field, okay, anywhere on the line, okay, I should display the corresponding what customer sales orders data. So what we have done here, we understood yesterday that whenever we click on that, whenever we click on any anywhere on the list, the event trigger is what at line selection. Okay, so we are doing the interaction in the basic list. Then the index of the next list is what one. So what I'm doing here, I'm comparing with the system field list index. When one, what I'm doing here, we know that we have a system field SYF and LISCL, which contains, which will store the content of what entire line. From that line, from that line, we are extracting what 
from that line we are extracting the nucleus. Yeah, from that line we are extracting the customer number part by using this is called as what offset logic. Okay, extracting the portion of the string we call it as what offset logic. So this is the entire system field which stores the entire line. From that line, starting from the index zero, we are extracting what 20 characters. Why we are extracting the 20 characters? When I'm displaying the customer number, okay, I reserve some 20 spaces. I reserve some 20 spaces for the customer number field. That is the reason the first 20 characters of any line is what? Customer number. That's why we're extracting what 20 characters. So the customer number will come and set in V underscore Kuna. So now let me execute this. So when I double click anywhere, if I double click on this domestic, what is the corresponding customer number 151 uh, from 00003. So let me double click on this. I got the customer number but we are not interested in displaying the customer number we are interested in displaying the sales orders of the given customer so for this customer for this customer i need to check whether any sales orders are available or not so where you have to check it in the vbak table okay so what i'll do now each customer might contain zero or one or more sales orders so since the customer may contain multiple sales orders what i'll do is I require an internal table related to what sales orders header fields. So what are the fields we require? We require some sales order number, creation date, creation time, and year and name. All these are what these are the fields of what VBAK table. So let us declare one internal table. So I'll go to the variable declaration include. I'll declare one internal table related to sales document header data. So I'll say types begin off. TY underscore VBAK. I'll take some fields here VBLM type, VBAK hyphen, VBLM. Then I'll take another field ERDAT. This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so I'm declaring the fields related to what sales order header data erdat erzdt type vba caption erzdt then i'll declare another field ername type vba caption ername then i'll say end of for ty underscore vba k end of ty underscore vba k then i'll say data t underscore Okay, I'll do one thing. Instead of giving VBAK, let me give meaningful name. I'll give it as TY underscore sales orders. Here also I'll say end of for TY underscore sales orders. Sales orders done. Then here I'll say T underscore sales orders. T underscore sales orders. Type table of. Type table of for TY underscore sales orders. Then let me declare work area W underscore sales orders type of TY underscore sales orders done. So I declared an internal table and what work area then activate this include go back to your main program. So here so I got the extracted customer number in which field V underscore Kuna. So instead of displaying the customer number, based on that customer number, I need to get what? Sales order. So I'll say here, if V underscore Kunnar is not blank, if it is not initial, what I'll do, if the customer number is not initial, I need to get the sales orders for the selected customer. Okay, so get sales orders for the selected customer get the sales orders for the selected customer so i'll call one subroutine here perform i'll give the subroutine name as something get sales orders let us define this subroutine 
double click on this subroutine does not exist create the object done so i'll choose what uh, i'll choose this include where i'm using this include for defining the subroutines continue okay so here i'll say here i'll say select the vbln erdat erzdt ernam from which table VBAK table into internal table. What is the internal table? I declare T underscore what sales orders. What is the common field between VBAK table and K N one table? Customer number. As we have seen this. So where customer number equal to the selected customer. Where is the selected customer in the our variable V underscore? Let's show the common field between VBAK table and K N one table is what customer number. So I am writing the select query to get the sales orders from VBAK table into our internal table, comparing with the customer number field. Done. So now I will say if what is that internal table? T underscore sales orders. If T underscore sales orders is not initial, if the internal table is not blank, what I will do? I will call one subroutine, perform display what? Sales orders. I need to define this subroutine to display the sales orders else i'll just give a message message what no sales orders no sales orders for the selected customer no sales orders for the selected customer type what i end it okay let me define the subroutine and i will click on the subroutine does not exist create the object i'll create that in the main program in the include program does not exist yeah. so loop the internal table and just display the sales orders so loop at t underscore sales orders into what w underscore what sales orders loop underscore sales orders into so and so and loop display the data from the work area w underscore sales orders iphone iPhone, what is the field name? VBLN. Let us display the other fields also. ER DAT. Next ER ZDT. Next ER NAM. Done. So I got the. I'm displaying the data. Yeah, can exhibit this first. Let me exhibit then and explain once again. When I say a fate, then this is my customer data displayed. I'll just click on this. No sales orders for the selected customer. Okay, I'll click on something this one by company itself. No sales orders for the selected customer. I'll click on this uh, five. No sales orders for the selected customer. No sales orders for selected customer. I'm not getting the data. Okay. No sales orders for selected customer. I'll do one thing. Let me sort this internal table. Let me sort this customer table before displaying it. Here I'll say sort T underscore customers by customer number. I'm sorting it based on the customer number. Then I'll display. So I may have the data in the sorted order now. Now let me try to display. I'll double click on this 50. No sales order for selected customer. Okay, I'm not getting the data for any of the customers. So first of all, what I'll do is, this is the range I give. This is the range I give. I want to check whether this customers has got any sales orders in the VBAK table. So what I'll do first, I'll go to VBAK table. This is my VBAK table. I'll go to contents, right? So here, let me filter based on what? Customer number. What is the range I gave here? In my program, I gave the range as what? This one. 
10 to what is the upper limit I guess something like this done let me give the range okay so this is the range I give in my selection screen let me check whether this customer range has got any sales orders or not okay I'll click number of entry server oh, how many are there 4946 One second, let me change the range here. But why I didn't got them? How many are there? 4946 sales orders are there. Let me execute. It is showing all these fields. Okay, let me display only the customer number and sales orders. I'll choose format list, choose fields. I'm not interested in all the fields. Let me deselect. I'll select web blend. Then what is the other field we are interested with? Customer number. Yeah, this is the data available. But why I am not getting? We need to do the analysis. <coughs> okay, I'll do one thing. Instead of giving this much range, let me give only up to this. I'll take this only. So between one double zero double zero ten to one double zero double zero fifty, how many sales orders are there? Some six sales orders are there. Let me see it. Yeah, all are for fifty only. I'll do one thing. Let me do it for eighty. Yeah, between this range, how many sales orders are there? Six sales orders. Done. Okay, I got the sales orders. Fine. Let me go and change the range here also. So here also in my program, I'll explain. So just wait. Here I'll give the range as let me activate. Right. So when I execute, so in the VBA hit table you can observe. Between this range, lower limit to upper limit, how many sales orders are there? Six sales orders. At least, okay, these are the six sales orders. All these six sales orders relate to which customer? One, triple zero to 50, something like this. Okay, so let me try to display the same thing here. This is my customer data done. Now, if I click on this 50, okay, if I click on this 50 or anywhere on this line, I should get that six sales orders now. Yes, other customers doesn't have what sales orders, but at least 50 has got the sales orders. Let me double click on this. No sales orders for the selected customer. Okay, even if I double click directly on that customer number, I'm not getting any sales orders. But if you see the VBA table, okay, see once again in the VBA table, what is the customer number range I'm giving? 1000010 to 1000080. Between this range, when I when I try to see the sales order, six sales orders. Okay, when I execute, all these six sales orders belong to which customer? One double zero double zero to fifty. Okay, so what is our expectation now? This is my customer data. Okay, all these six customers, all this uh, remaining customer doesn't have data, but this fifty has got what six sales orders now? So at least I should get that six sales orders. Okay, when I double click. It is saying that no sales orders for the selected customer. So can anyone tell me what could be the problem? Okay, if you debug, we'll understand. But uh, quickly, can anyone tell me what could be the reason why I'm not getting the sales orders? I'll repeat once again, then you can tell. In the VBAK table, between the customer range, this lower limit to upper limit, when I'm trying to check the sales orders, it is showing six sales orders. When I try to display, it is showing me that six sales orders. All these six sales orders belong to only one customer. What is that customer? One double zero double zero fifty. So in my basic list also, when I exit my program, there's a selection screen. I get the customer range. When I
Zilut. Yes, I got this customers here. Now, anywhere on this list, if I double click, we know that what is the event triggered at line selection. Okay. So the next index of the next list is what? One. This index is what? This list is what? Basic list. The index is zero. Okay. So when I double click on this 50, I should get that six sales orders in the next list, no? but I'm not getting. So what could be the problem? Anyone? Hello? Uh, I think uh, the list index. Uh... List index is one correct only. No problem. We are in the basic. We are in the basic list. The index is zero. The index of the next list is one only. Na? So in this at line selection event, SY equal LSIND will store the index of the next list only. So can anyone tell me where could be the reason problem? Okay, see here. I'll debug. Just try to focus. I'll put the breakpoint here. Right. So this is my uh, what range I gave you a selection screen done F8. Then I got the customer data. We are not bothered about that. Now. I'll double click on this uh, anywhere on this line 50 or this uh, D or John, wherever it is. Okay. Let me double click on John. Okay. And double click. It is going to trigger what event at line selection event. We have performed the action on which list basic list. Okay. We have performed the action on basic list. What is the index of the basic list? Zero. Okay. And whenever we double click, what is the event triggered at line? Selection so at line selection. Let me go to desktop three. Yeah, at line selection. So we have performed the action in the basic list whose index is what zero. What is the index of the next list? One only the second list. So if you see the value of S Y L S I N D, what is that one? Okay, in at line selection event, this S Y F and L S I N D will store the index of the next list. Yes, it is one only done. Okay, I'll say F I. When statement is satisfied, it is coming inside. Done. So I double clicked on John. Now. So the content of the entire line is stored in which field? SY and what? LI? SCL. So if you see here, SY and LI SCL contains what? It contains a combination of what is this? Customer number, that vertical line, country key, what else? Country key and the name, all this. So it contains the content of the entire line but we are not interested in the entire line we are interested only in the customer number so if you see the v underscore kunar as of now blank so what i am doing here i am writing some offset logic this is called as what offset logic what do you mean by offset logic from a main string if you want to extract the portion of a string we'll go for what offset logic or we call it a substring portion of a string is called a substring so what i am doing from this entire content Starting from the index zero, the index of the string starts from what zero. Starting from the index zero, extract how many characters? 20 characters. Why 20 characters? Why 20 characters? Because when I'm displaying, I reserve some 20 spaces. I reserve some 20 spaces for the customer number. That's why I'm extracting what 20 spaces of value. So when I say F5. Uh, what is the value I got in V underscore Kuna? One, so on, so so on. So only customer number I got. Done. Okay. Now, if V underscore Kuna is not initial, yes, it is not initial. Done. Okay. I'm what calling the subroutine. Perform get sales orders. F5. Done. So now we are about to execute the select statement. We are about to get the sales orders from the what VBAK. Table. So in the database table, just now we are seen related to this 50. How many sales orders are there? Six sales orders are there. Try to understand. Related to this uh, 50, there are six sales orders. So, so this T underscore sales orders also should contain how many sales orders? Six sales orders. So I'm about to execute the select statement. Select statement should be successfully executed. Size of our size should be set to zero. And it has to fetch how many sales orders? Six sales orders. Okay. But see here, see the problem. What is the value of V underscore Kunar? V underscore Kunar is what? 100050. 100050. But if you observe the database table VBAK, 
this custom number is stored in what format overall custom number is what character of 10 overall the width of the custom number is character of 10 so in what format it is stored triple zero one double zero double zero five zero but in my variable what is the value it is having what one double zero double zero fifty so when i say f5 before executing the select statement what is the value of size of rc zero let me execute now i'll say f5 then size of rc is what four means my select statement execution is failed why it is failed because in the table in the vba table the customer number is what character of 10 and what is the data stored here triple zero one double zero double zero fifty overall 10 characters but here in my variable in my variable it is stored as what one double zero double zero five zero that's why my select is failed so since the select is failed what happened next step if t underscore sales orders is not initial if it is not empty but it is empty only now it is still zero so control goes to the else part and i'll get the message what no sales orders for what selected customer i got that message understood so the problem is in my variable it is stored as what one triple zero double zero double zero five zero but in the table it is character of 10 it is stored as triple zero one double zero double zero five zero so can anyone tell me what is the adjustment i need to do anyone Correct. So what I have to do, Vamshi? What I have to do? Concatenate zeros before customer. How many zeros I have to concatenate? Three. How do you know that? Why only three? Length is 10. Okay. So what we are trying to say is in our variable V underscore kuna, the value is stored something like this. Okay. So by debugging, we understood that it is only what seven. That's why you are saying to concatenate only zeros, three zeros. Three zeros. Okay. Suppose, assume that. Some of the customers are like this. Yeah. How many zeros? No, no, not this. Some of the customers are like this. Yeah, how many customers have to, how many zeros have to concatenate now? How many zeros have to concatenate now? Is this eight? Okay, how many zeros have to concatenate? two zeros right if the v underscore kunar is something like this what is the width here eight so since it is eight i need to concatenate what two but this is not wrong right because you you don't know what data is this what data is stored in v underscore kunar okay dynamically i should decide how many zeros i have to concatenate whether it is one zero two zero i don't know so how do we do it you understood my question all of you Yes, how do we do it? In this case, by looking at the debugging, we understood that it is seven. So we are saying that to concatenate three zeros. But if my customer is stored like this, okay, so eight is already filled. So I need to concatenate number two zeros. So how do we decide that? Anyone? Pamshi, you understood my question? is uh, if there is a conversion routine we can pass kuna to conversion then we'll get total that good okay so there are many ways we can do that so what i'll do is yeah see here uh, if v underscore kuna is not initial i have to get the sales orders now so somewhere here i'll say i'll say unpack i'll say unpack unpack v underscore kuna to v underscore kunar unpack v underscore kunar to v underscore kunar let me check it save check it more syntax error done 
okay let me debug and check what that unpack is doing so here i'll put the breakpoint so when i execute right let me double click on this john that line selection event is triggered <coughs> let me move to desktop 3 so if you see v underscore kunar right i'm extracting the portion of the string when i say f5 i got something like this if v underscore kunar is not initial if it is not blank yes i'm trying to get the sales order so see here before i execute the select statement i'm saying what unpack v underscore kunar to v underscore kunar so v underscore kunar is what type k when i feel kunar na? v underscore kunar is type k when i feel kunar okay so type k when i feel kunar means it is referring to the database field which, whose width is character of 10. so as of now it is stored something like this so when i say unpack see what happens to this variable when i say f5 done it has prefixed automatically what three zeros it has prefixed automatically three zeros now i am trying to execute the select query <coughs> As of now, my internal table contains zero entries. So when I say F5, then I got how many sales orders here? Yes, six sales orders. I saw is what zero. Select is successfully executed. So if it is successfully executed, if, it, if the internal table is not blank, I am calling a subroutine where I am looping the internal table and displaying the data. So when I say F5, F8, I got the, I got the sales orders of the selected customer. Hope it's clear to everyone. Unpack function. So what this unpack function will do is, depending on the width of the variable, v underscore kunar is declared as what? k n f and kunar. What is the actual width of k n and kunar? Character of what? 10. So what happens? It will what? It will concatenate the sufficient required number of zeros. Okay, at the beginning of that particular value. This is one way. This is one way. What I used here, unpack. Instead of using unpack, instead of using unpack, I'll say, if you go to SC37 function builder, we already, we already discussed some standard function models. Okay, we already discussed some standard function models. So if you go to function builder, SC37, we have a function module, conversion underscore, exit underscore, what is that? Alpha to inputter, alpha to what input? What is that? Alpha one. Right, so see here, conversion exit alpha input. So if you see here, conversion exit alpha external to internal. So what does it do see here? It takes some input, it takes some input and returns that output. It will, it will do some conversion based on that input value. It will return that conversion underscore exit underscore alpha underscore what input. So what I'll do now is here, so using unpack function, I'll call the function model. I'll go to pattern. This is a function model. Done. Input equal to where? What is the input? V underscore sorry. Input equal to V underscore kunar. Okay. It is going to return something. I'll import it in the same variable. Output equal to V underscore what kunar. Okay. V underscore kunar. So now save it. Check for the syntax. Done. Right, so see the purpose of this uh, conversion alpha input. So when I put the breakpoint here, once again, after this, I'll double click on somewhere on John. At line selection, you will distribute. Control is going to the debugging mode in the desktop three. I'm extracting the customer number. So if you see V underscore Kunar, it is stored something like this. Now I'm calling a subroutine to fetch the sales orders. 
before I do that, I'm calling some function model. Okay. What I'm doing here, I'm passing V underscore Kunnar. It will do some conversion internally. It will do some conversion internally and returns a particular value. I'm receiving that value in the same variable. So when I say FI now, where is the control now? It is about to call the function model. When I say FI, control goes to the logic of this function model, definition of the function model. I need not debug the source code of the function model. I'm not interested in that. So I'll say what F6. So internally that source code will be executed. So when I say F6, then it is also doing same as what unpack. It has prefix what it has concatenated what some three zeros. Okay, so I'm getting the required data. Done. So I got the sales orders of the given customer. So only this customer has got the sales orders. Fine. Now here also this is my basic list. How to generate the heading for the basic list? We have handled the event called as top of page. Similarly, I got the secondary list now. What is the index of this secondary list? This is the first secondary list. What is the index of this one? So in order to generate the heading for the secondary list, we have an event called as top of page during line selection. So I'll handle an event called as top of page during line selection top of page during line selection i'll just give some message i'll start from 20 space i'll just give something about sales orders sales orders i'll use some color for this color one okay color one none save it check it done Achha, i'm sorry Achha. how many this event is for second list na? how many second list we can have 20 second list. I want this only for the first second list. So what I'll do inside this event, I'll check for what the system field what ls ind. Okay, ls ind when one. So inside this event, inside this event, sy and ls ind will store the index of the current list. Okay, current list. So here I'll say right end for case is what end case. So only for that particular second list one this heading will be generated okay for basic list since we have only one basic list i need not check for in list index but since we will have up to 20 second list i need to check for what list index so when i execute when i say f8 done this is my basic list i'll double click on somewhere here yeah this customers doesn't have any sales orders i'll double click on this john i got the what sales orders here also you can give headings sales order number creation date creation time name of the person just like how i gave here same thing you can construct there also okay so this is your what second list one any questions in this part please ask me yeah one important thing when you're practicing your laptop see uh, what is the customer range I gave? Uh, this one. If you copy paste as it is, if you copy paste as it is, and when you execute this in a laptop, when I try to display, you may not get any customers. Okay, so blindly you should not do copy paste. Check whether this range is there in your table or not. Right? What is the range here? I gave something like this. Yesterday I gave the range as 1000 to 1010. That is a different server. In that server, the range was something like that. But here, this is a different server. Here, we don't have that range. So I went for to what K N one table. I went to K N one table. I have checked what is the data available. So based on that analysis, I am giving the range. So don't blindly copy paste the program and execute. You may get them to say no customers. So check whether these customers are there in the table or not. Go to K N one table. Go to K N one table. First of all, you check whether the customers are there or not. How many customers are there? 298 customers are there. So when I execute, it is showing me the two, first 200 customers. So check the range. Based on that, you give that range in your program and practice. Okay. Similarly, when you go to VBA table also, check which customers are having the sales orders. Okay. So here, here if I remove this. It is showing how many sales are this 32,050, but I am not interested in this. What is the customer range I gave? 
I give the customer in this uh, what? 100010 to 100080. So between that customer range only, I want to check whether any sales orders are there. So what I did, I gave the filtration based on what customer number. If this field is not shown here, already we know how to filter. Settings, fields for what? Selection, you select from this. Okay. So I gave this between 100010 to what? 100080. Okay, but in this range, sorry, one double zero double zero ten to one double zero double zero what eight zero. So between this range, how many sales orders are there? Six sales orders. So when I execute, all the six sales orders belong to only what one customer. That's why when I am doing the interaction, I double clicked on what. I double click on what? That's 50 only because I know that in the table only this 50 customer has got the sales orders. Then, any questions? Please ask. Line 30. Thirty-one. Okay. Uh, what is the question? I'm sure. Let me read. No, customer length is not eighteen. Uh, I'm sure. In the table, customer length is character of ten. Customer length is not character of ten. Okay. So you want me to give zero of ten, huh? Okay, so let's see what is the issue if I give 0 of 10. You will not get the data. See here. What Ramshi is saying is in the table, customer number is what? Character of 10. Okay, so you extract only 10 uh, what characters. But here, when I'm displaying the data of the customers, when I'm displaying this field Kunnar, I'm reserving how many spaces? 20 spaces. If I have not given this, yes. First 10 characters would be what customer number, but since I get 20, since I get 20, it will allocate what 20 spaces for the customer. Now, depending on the database, okay, depending on the database, if I try to get only 10 characters, see what happens. I'll get only portion of customer number. I'll give 10 now when I execute. Okay, I'll put the breakpoint. Right, I'll double click on John. I'll go to desktop three, then F5. Okay, V underscore Kunnar. Yeah, now you can see. If you observe this, SY if an LISCL, if this contains the content of what entire line. Now what you are saying from this content of the entire line. We are extracting what 0 of 10 means starting from the index 0 extract to what 10 characters. So when I say F5, what I got 1 triple 0 5 0. Okay, 1 triple 0 5 0. Done. I'm getting the sales orders now. Yeah, I'm using the conversion function. I got how many? I got LSAF5. Now I'm getting, but the problem is not here. The problem will be there when you have character field. So how to show that? One second. You will have the problem. Let me check the data, then I can show you the problem. I'll go to contents. Uh, what is that? I'll go to VBA key table. The problem will be there.
one second. <coughs> Let me give the breakpoint here. I don't have the relevant data to show that, but let me try. I think I can show it tomorrow when I use a different server. I'm in a different place now. Let me try this also. Okay, I got the data. Now I'll double click on this toys. Okay, I'll go to desktop three. If I take SI if an LACL. Is a fine. A V underscore Kuna is fine. Okay, I got this. Oh, I got this. is also fine uh, one second how can i show you <coughs> this will be two minutes time let me check how can i show you in this server one second this is my VBA table Just hold on.
I'm just checking the data just for the Don't tell you. Um, she, uh, just wait for one day. Uh, we'll have the issue. Okay. Uh, I'll use a different server. The problem will come uh, when you have the data like this. Suppose here, um, I can show it practically in the other server because I got that issue many times. The problem will be somewhere here. Suppose if you take this K91 table, how many cars are there? 298. Let me try to check here. Yeah, suppose here, if you see this customer number, uh, actually, uh, suppose, forget about the customer number field, assume that there is a value, numeric value, <laughs> so, assume that we have a numeric value, something like this. Forget about customer number, okay? One second. Yeah. Suppose if you take this only. Can I say both the numbers are same? Forget about customer, it's a general value, okay? I can say both the numbers are same. No? If you assume this is a numeric value, if you assume this is a numeric value, okay, both are what same now? Uh, there is, doesn't make, uh, doesn't matter if you have zeros before that now. Both will be what? Same. Yes or no? All of you. Okay, but in our K11 table, if you take customer number, it is not a numeric field. It is what field? Character of 10. Character of 10. Okay. So if you take in customer number perspective, these two things are different. These two things are different because it is a character field here. This should be different. This should be different. If you assume this is a numeric value, yes, I can represent this number like this or I can represent the same number like this. Both would be what? Same. But if it is a character field, you will have the issue. Okay. So what I can do is tomorrow, uh, I'll be using a different server. There, you will have this issue. You will not get the appropriate data. Here, I don't have the data. I'm using a different uh, server. Uh, is it clear, Vamshi? Uh, in your laptop, if you want, you can try it today. Uh, you will have the problem. If it is a character field, if it is a character field, these two are not same. These two are different. These two are different. If it is a numeric field, these two are what? Same. Okay. Anyhow, I'll show this issue tomorrow. Uh, the same example, anyhow, it's, uh, I'll show it in other server. There, if I give this uh, 0 of 10, definitely we'll have the problem. So what I need to do is, how much width you are reserving, that much width only you have to extract. Okay. So just wait for one day. Remind me tomorrow before the class only so that I can show it because tomorrow I'll take the class from the institute only. Today I didn't went to institute. Okay, so I'll use a different server, then you will get the issue there. Om is it here? Just remind me before the class only so that I can show it practical. Yeah, apart from this, any other doubts, others?
right so rest of the part i'll discuss tomorrow okay now we need to double click on the custom sales order how to get the sales item so what we have done earlier to identify the selected value I refer to a system field called as SYFN LIC. Now, in this tool list, I'll use a different technique. We have a technique called as ID technique. We have another statement called as get cursor. So, I'll be using that logic inside this two list that I'll continue tomorrow. Right? So, I'll wind off. We'll discuss. Uh, this part tomorrow and the rest of the program also tomorrow. Ciao.